The detention center detains about 5,600 people a year. Many of the people there find themselves on the inside because of drugs and addiction. But an unlikely pair has teamed up to bring hope to a place where many think it's not possible. It is a place where a lot of people assume hope goes to die. Inside the Madison County Detention Center, the stories are gritty. Thug and drug and stealing, and rob and cheating, and manipulating uh, uh, the whole nine yards. Real. I should be dead or in prison. And for many, hit close to home. I am a stone cold junkie. The true reality is this. At least 80% of every person we book is either an addict or high, selling, dealing, or have something to do with drugs. I'm a drug addict. When I drink a beer, I want a needle. For Madison County Jailer Steve Tussey, he isn't just the guy who puts people behind bars. Today I have people says, okay, you can come in, you have access to my jail. He's a guy that realizes many here need hope. Who better to give it but those who lived it? See, people that's not like us don't know why we do what we do. It's not often he has people begging to get back on the inside. I don't do what I do for the money. I do what I do to fill my heart. I uh, started drugs at 21, uh, two blocks from here. I started drinking two blocks from here. It wasn't that long ago that Mike St. John was here. His story is one he recognizes in the eyes of the guys he faces each week. Just cause you went to jail here, I don't care what you've done to get here. That is none of my business. What I do care is what you're gonna do when that door pops. Strung out, addicted, and homeless. When the door finally popped for St. John, he had hit rock bottom. It's a place he knows many can relate to. We all know how to steal. We all know how to cheat. We all know how to manipulate. We know, know how to rob. We can cut dope, make dope, sell dope, whatever. I want to know how to live. Sober for five years, addiction recovery worked, and he's now back on the inside, showing guys just like him there is a life waiting for them on the outside. Recovery is possible. What are you willing to do? It started as a Facebook Live to keep people in recovery connected during the pandemic has led to this. Who's got a problem with drugs? Who's got a problem with alcohol? Being granted access to the jail, speaking weekly, pushing not dope these days, but rather hope. But here's the thing, it's got to take your mess and make it his message, period. And he's not alone. Do you understand me? Like it is, look, tough times don't last, tough people do, man. Bradley Hatton was also a regular here. DOC saved my life. He's been sober three years, and now he's back, connecting in a much different way. When we actually come to the jail the first time, us three, I actually asked uh, if we could bring one of the guys out of the hole so we could go in and pray, because that's where I spent a lot of my time here in the hole for bad behavior. It may not be a conventional approach to ending the drug problem. They Narcan me twice, I come to a UK hospital. The jailer Steve Tussie, who looks on when Mike and Bradley speak, sees the direct impact and says, why not? I see the lights come on, truly. When you look in their, their eyes, um, tears are flowing. You know, they, were, they opened their hearts, they opened their minds. They're sitting in the cell right now thinking about what these two guys just told them. Hello, he's supposed to be alive. Huh? He's supposed to be alive. The goal here is simple. That's why we do what we do, bro. To change lives. I love you. Come back next time. I can do it. You know you can. Shorty, you know you can do it. I care about you. I don't want you to come back to this damn jail. This jail is not the end of the road. The wall here simply reads Road to Recovery. It's one Mike St. John got on. This was my dream and a mission and a purpose to come here and do this. And God's allowed that to happen. Be here next Thursday. And now he's working to make sure that anyone else who wants to get on that same road knows how to do so. Love you, man. Love you. And when you go back to your cell, when you go back to your cell, ask God for guidance and strength. He, he's done God in the past. Get on it. Right. Love you, man. Right, there's me up.